two things I hate in aviation, swimming and surprises. We just get Cessna 6093 Juliet at 2500 maneuvering uh, at Queen's Gate. Right here? Yeah. And if we just feel like getting out and stretching our legs for any reason, that's where we'll be going. <laughs> so go ahead, uh, clear off to the left here. Clear left. As we continue descending, okay. go ahead and we'll kind of turn southbound to head out that way. All right. And at least at this one, I'll kind of get here. A little bit of help here and there, but not too much. He looks like he's at about a thousand feet. Uh, Maybe he, he might even be beneath uh, 500. Long Beach Flight Zero Traffic Six Zero Nine Three Two One Thousand Four Hundred Descending Mile West of Angels Cove for return to that point, Long Beach. I'd say just about. This direction is pretty good. Okay. Continue it down to a thousand feet. Once you get it to a thousand feet, uh, everything trimmed up for just level flight, cruise power, cruise trim, all that. Got it. We're going to the upwind side. Yeah, so now we're kind of going this way so that we can come inbound with the wind. Correct. Now I might start kind of turning back. About 30 degrees of bank left turn, and then we're going to be, uh, as soon as you get to 1,000 feet, carpet in, power to about 2,300, or whatever your preferred cruise setting is. This is a good distance to set yourself up for the maneuver. Right about here. Now, now we've got a thousand feet. Hopefully we're relatively yeah. trimmed down. What we have to work on now is we have to get the appropriate distance. Okay. There. And I understand. Gonna, so he's still kind of low. I see him. He's, those guys just do slow flight all day, but he's about 500 feet, so we should be okay. All right. Take a quick check of the area before. Okay. So we're at a thousand feet, and I really can't see anything, so I'm just doing this by memory, nice. but bit to the left here. But I think this distance should work out pretty decent. This is a pretty good distance. We would just want to make sure we keep a thousand feet. Go ahead, get the power set. As soon as you get the power set, just take your hand off the throttle. Okay. Alright, and, and where is just it? a beam. Right about there. So we want to just bring our wing down right here. This is actually maybe just a touch close, but... but the idea is now we want to divide our attention between outside and inside. We want to keep a thousand feet right here. Right. And we want to keep it right off that line of rivers right there. Now we know, kind of going this way, there's not too much wind today, so the effect won't be too dramatic. Right. But it's going to have a tendency to maybe start moving forward on the wing a little bit. And as it does that, we might need to shallow out just a little bit. Looks like not too much. And then keep our eyes inside, make sure we keep it right at our altitude as well. And power, I wouldn't even touch it. So you can see right here, a little ahead of the wing. Right. So, Go ahead and we'll just shallow it up a little bit and see it comes right back. Right. And as soon as it comes back, we can put in just a little bit more bank. And just enough bank that's necessary just to hold it right there. Okay. So I'll let you take it. Uh, and right. make sure your attention is dividing very quickly. Uh, getting into this maneuver is kind of the tricky part because you've got a lot of work going on. That's when people's altitude just goes a little haywire. But I'd say it's just a, just a little bit ahead of that line of rivets right now, so maybe it just... Very good, and then a little steeper right here, so that it does not continue trending back on the wing. And the idea is just to look at the wing and see, well, is it going ahead of the wing or behind the wing and just adjusting this a bit. We're kind of coming up one now, it's gone ahead of the wing a little bit, that makes sense. So maybe we'll be just a little bit shallower. Looks good. Long Beach, Mike, Missouri, traffic 6093, Julie, 1,000 feet over Angels Gate, turns around a point, Long Beach. If you get really good at these, you can have a job doing aerial photography. Nice. That is all we do. Now what's really benefiting you right now is the airplane is very well trimmed up. Right. And we took our time doing that. Uh, you don't ever want to, you know, have it know where you're fighting it because then it just goes completely disastrous. Indeed. I see him. I'll keep my eye on him. Uh, I think a 
I felt my own wake. They have. There we go, a little ahead of the wing, a little shallower, perfect. Bring it right back down. Oh, but there's, yeah, we're, we, we just got a very slight descent going, about 50 feet down. Okay. And we really want to stay on top of the altitude because, of course, if we have to climb back up, that slows down our airspeed. Right. And that's going to mess up the point, right? So, uh, we don't want to keep the altitude so much because we have to keep a thousand feet, but also because any corrections are just going to create problems. So we're descending right now, which means we're going a little bit faster, which might be why it's gone off a little bit. Yep. There we go. Long Beach, Red Desert, Red Desert, 6193, Julia, 1,000 feet over Angel Bay, turns around the point, Long Beach. I think you got the idea. If I, uh, once we get about southbound again, if you want to level out, fly outbound a little bit, and then kind of set yourself up, come back in, so you can you know, play with the setup again and all that. Oh, a little soon. I think what's most important with this maneuver is just giving yourself lots of time to set up so you can have your distance just right, have the airplane well trimmed out and everything done. If you rush the maneuver at all, then it's just gonna, it's just gonna go all the, you know, it's gonna get a, won't be good. Exactly. And, and it's kind of with all the maneuvers, okay. uh... And I you said you wanted to go up to 1,500? No, no, 1,000, fine. Okay. I'll just keep it right here. Alright. Uh, looking back at your point, I always want to kind of, you know, judge the distance. Okay. I'd say right about here. I think we're pretty good, so okay. you know, take a glance at it and then figure out, well, you know, how much of a turn do we have to make, you know, because we want to come in, we don't want to be too close, but we don't want to be too far. And we also want to come in perfectly per parallel with the winds. There's kind of a lot of considerations in this, and you know, again, that's why you want to have lots of time to set up. Alright, so I'd level out right about here, and then... In fact, the distance from that end of the jetty to the other end of the jetty... If you can imagine that, you know, that distance over the ground, that, that's, that's a pretty good distance for, for what we want to be. You know, trying to imagine just putting the airplane that distance away, and up, of course, but... Okay. There we go. And, of course, really resist the temptation to start turning early. Uh, I pretty much do it as soon as it goes... Uh, you know, right off, well, like I said, right off the rivets on the wing. Okay. On your side though. By the way, you can do these to the right if you like, it's just easier to look at your window instead of trying to look around my head. Okay. I'm a little close to it this time. Yeah, it looks like we turned a little bit late. Right. I just have to get Watch your altitude as well, a little bit low. And I just take your hand off the throttle. That's a little ahead of the wing and we're a little bit low, so we can... I'm probably getting our altitude back, we'll actually correct both at the same time since it'll slow us down. Uh, good corrections there, and now just stay really on top of the out, uh, the altitude. When I'm doing these, uh, the, the speed that I'm diverting my attention between outside and inside is about outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. It's about that that fast, maybe uh, a half second spent on each before I you know switch and glance at the other one. right there, you kind of hear the engine speeding yep. up, wind noise, little SGs. But 
you, you can see small elements of the wind corrections that we need to make. Yeah. Although there really isn't enough wind today to make them uh, obvious and apparent. Right. Here, I let it slide too far back. Again, and then we'll try some uh, S turns across the road. All right. Those, those are uh, probably the more difficult maneuver. It's uh, about the same distance that when we started, so we must be flying equidistant circles around it. Uh, so we can just level out here when you go out this way. Uh, we're just going to use this section of the uh, the jetty right here, you know, from about right here until down to the brake, so we could probably get a solid uh, maybe four or five okay. S's in. Uh, I'll kind of show you the first S, okay. I'll kind of do the second S with you, and then I'll just kind of okay. let you down. So, uh, the setup's the same, you want to come in with the wind, you want to give yourself lots of room to set up, cruise power, RP then flaps up, all that business nicely trimmed out. <laughs> 